I'm Bambi Francisco for Vader TV, the network for innovators. Well, since the start of the web, online dating sites proliferated. They charge about 20 bucks a month, and they range from Match.com to JDate to eHarmony to Yahoo Personals. Then came social networks, where dates were essentially um, free. Now there's online dating on steroids, and that comes from Woomi, which is a speed dating site. Sorry about the online dating site on steroids, but it sort of seems like it. Yeah, it's actually a good intro because it's, it's a mix between social networking and online dating. We sit kind of in the middle ground. It sort of evolved both. Stephen, I never introduced you, but Stephen Stokel, he is the CEO and founder of Woomi. Thank you for joining us. Stephen, uh, Woomi isn't launching until mid-November, so give us a sneak preview of what the site's about. Okay, and we, we launched publicly November 10th. Uh, we're actually opening up to VIP alpha invites starting today. Um, so if you are interested, register, and we'll probably select you for an alpha invite if you're interested in yourself. Um, but again, the site basically is an online speed dating platform that allows users to meet each other in kind of fun, fast, free fashion. So what would happen is you'd come to the site, uh, you'd see a bunch of speed sessions that are all user created. So a, a session could be anything from, say, outdoor enthusiasts in San Francisco or people looking for travel partners. I mean, they cover a wide genres of topics. For people who don't like to have fun, I saw that one. People who don't like to have fun, the session that was created, go figure. And it actually filled up pretty quickly, so who would have thought? But that's part of the power is that people are coming up with all kinds of sessions we would have never really envisioned. So each session's got its own personality, kind of like a bar would, and it attracts a certain kind of people. So a hip-hop bar is going to attract a certain kind of people, so will a session that's called, you know, people who love, I don't know, MC Hammer, one of the judges from TechCrunch, for example, which right. filled up quickly. Um, so anyway, you come to a session, you'd, you'd find a session that interests you, and you can scan who's in the session, see the people, see what, the, what, what some of the tags are on the session. You join the session, and then the session experience is pretty simple. Um, it's five people in five minutes. So if there's ten people total in the session, five girls and five guys, you get one minute with each, mm -hmm. um, and you have a chance to say whether you were wooed or not wooed at the end of that minute. And after five minutes, if two people have a mutual woo, both people said, yes, I was wooed, uh, you have a mutual match, and you can pay a dollar to get the contact information and take it forward. Now, I notice on your site you have live sessions, sort of live video sessions. Yep. Now, do you think that that's going to, is that going to be an obstacle, get, obstacle getting people yep. to, to join? It will be. So I left that part out. The actual session experience itself is in, in browser, so no, no downloads, no Skype. It's all in the browser, very high quality voice and video. Um, we have voice-only sessions, and we have voice and video. So we actually think in the early days it will probably be 60% voice only, 40% voice and video. And if you look at Skype, Skype's now 20% video. So we're using those as a parameter. Um, however, we think the video piece was far more enriching and sort of over the next few years as it becomes more ubiquitous, that will become the norm. But in the early days it will be voice only for a large majority of people who don't have webcams or who don't want to have to uh, worry about how they look. On yeah. at the moment. Well, you have a few hundred people right now or maybe a few thousand people that are already joining and, and it's sort yeah. of this data that you have. Uh, what is the demographic today and who will be the demographic over the next year? So uh, that's a good question because I actually, if you look at the, and we've got thousands of pre-registrations and we're actually sifting through trying to figure, you know, the, the different demos, it's very tough to nail down because it's, it's global. I mean, there's people from South Africa, from Brazil, from South Korea, from Europe, from the U.S., so regionally it's tough to pe peg down. Um, and from an age perspective, it's also tough to peg down because uh, it ranges from 18-year-olds, um, so college freshmen, all the way into the late 30s, and some 40-year-olds. Some so it's tough to actually figure out what the demo will be. What I can tell you is what we're targeting initially is sort of an, uh, a demo in the 20 to 34 range. So kind of that peak tech-savvy, um, born-on-the-web type of uh, demographic who obviously will be more prone to use a web camera, not need to worry about setting up a microphone, they're already Skype users, that sort of demo. Okay. And your model is it's not a subscription-based model. Uh, it's similar to, or perhaps was similar to, Hot or Not, where if you want to have the introduction, you pay a dollar, and yep. that's what uh, you have Woo credits. So explain what your business model is. Yeah, so you actually did a better job than I could. Essentially, it's, it's free to play. You can play as many sessions as you want for free. Um, if you do find a connection, and it's a mutual connection, i.e. both you and the other person were both wooed, uh, you can pay a dollar to get the contact information an email address or a Woo mail address and take it forward and each um, Woo credit is worth a dollar. So a Woo credit is just synonymous for a dollar. So right now you can buy Woo credits, give your credit card and is there a minimum number or amount of Woo credits that you, uh, that you have to start off with? The, the minimum is a buck. So you don't, you don't actually have to buy a Woo credit until you've found a match. Um, okay. You can get discounts so you can get and the pricing is not hammered out right now. Actually at, while it's in closed alpha or closed beta it's all free. 
another incentive to go ahead and try to sign up early. Um, but you can buy credits five, five credits for three bucks, okay. or ten credits for seven bucks um, down line. But again, you can just go a dollar. You can pay as you go as well. And so as you model that out in 2008, if that is what's going to be driving your business, how many Woo credits do you think you're going to, to generate, and, and how do you think about that? That's a good question. So, and actually, we, we, we obviously, we've got some intricate financial modeling that we've done. It's actually far more lucrative than advertising um, with respect to sort of an ARPU. Um, if, you, if you figure an active user plays even just two sessions a month, and what we've actually found are people are playing two, three sessions a night, it's somewhat addictive. But even two sessions a month and gets one to two matches. You're looking at ARPUs of you know buck twenty, buck forty per per user. Um, so it's a very lucrative model. And we actually, based on our projections, we're looking to do ten thousand sessions per month um, within a year. And based on two matches per session, you need, uh, excuse me, based on two matches per person per active user, you can start to ramp up some revenues from that. And you're looking at million dollar revenue streams very quickly. So you're looking for no real long-lasting matches, right? It's always cracked me up about online right. dating sites. Basically, the more successful you are, the the fewer customers you have. Yeah. So you, I guess you really, do you care if you, you create long-lasting Not relationships? Really. I'll tell you what, we're actually yeah. the antithesis of eHarmony. I mean, we don't care about love and soulmates. We're an introduction platform. So um, you don't go to a bar looking for a soulmate, or maybe you do subconsciously. But mm -hmm. you're going to meet interesting people. Um, even if you go to an offline speed dating session, uh, you may meet 15 or 20 people in an hour and a half, mm -hmm. of which you take no, you might, two of them you may stay in touch with as friends or whatever the case is. We're an introduction platform. It takes 15 seconds to register. There's no intricate profiles. Um, in the 60 minutes that you could fill out your sort of match or your eHarmony survey, you would have met 60 people mm -hmm. and clicked with maybe five or six of them, and maybe one becomes a soulmate. Uh, but again, we're trying to replicate the offline model, you know, where people actually meet in bars and they interact quickly and they make connections and they take it forward, and bars aren't going out of business. Um, so I don't think we're too worried about that, but we're not worried about love and soulmates at this point. And in offline world, speed dating, you mentioned, is about a billion-dollar industry. How big do you think it is online, or you know, how slowly does it ramp up? So this, to is I get, I mean, I, this is what I believe, and some people buy it, some people don't. So it's, uh, it didn't exist. In, the first offline session was in 1998. Some rabbi in L.A. wanted Jewish single men to meet Jewish single women. So that's where the whole thing started. It's supposed to be a billion dollars in 2008, so in 10 years, and it's about 700 plus million uh, this year. Um, so it's a, it's a huge market. As far as what I think, like with any offline phenomenon, whether it be selling Pez dispensers, social networking, dating, you get a whole order magnitude increase when you move it online, a 10x increase. So what I'm basically projecting is at least a $10 billion market in five or six years um, that we're going to create because obviously a lot of people don't do offline speed dating now. You move it online just like with everything else, it's, it's mm -hmm. open to anybody very easy to do. Just a couple more questions. How defensible is this? Couldn't Match or Yahoo Personals just sort of incorporate this, or even the big social networks, can they incorporate this as a, a feature? Yeah, so, well, there's, there's two answers. One, I'm going to give you the basic technology answer, which is we spent six months, and we've got actually one of the top guys uh, out of the technology firm that we're using optimizing the, the heck out of this uh, technology. So we have a proprietary layer on top of a standard technology we're using. But that's never defensible. Um, the reality is it's a disruptive business model that matches. So if your subscription dating service match, for example, and it's like 39 bucks a month or 49 bucks a month, um, you can only offer the service to your closed garden. If you open it up to the world, you're going to cannibalize your, your 100, you know, 100, 150 million dollar revenue stream. Mm -hmm. So they can never do this. They can only they they can offer as a feature to their, their closed garden, but that's not nearly as valuable. Mm -hmm. um, if you can already talk to people and you can already scroll through profiles, deep profiles, and match to different model. The only way this is attractive is when you kind of open it up to the masses and sure. you bring on a lot of people. And so the subscription services really can't do that. And I've talked to senior people at a lot of these companies who are acknowledge that. Um, that said, I mean, YouTube, Dig, a lot of these guys are not defensible. It's a first mover advantage, which is why we're looking to come out of the gate guns blazing. Right. Um, and we're going to come out and try to get as much traction as we can as early as we can. As many dates as you can. So yeah. how many dates have you gotten from this site and how often are you, are you using it? Are you... Uh, Three I'm using it quite a bit. Session. I'm not getting a whole right. lot of dates. Uh, probably because every time I use it, I drill s directly into how's the video quality, how's the voice quality, and I probably turn people off with those questions. Okay. But and do you um, require everyone to, to at least do one session a day in, that you work with? Uh, no, but it's a good idea. <laughs> you should. Okay, Stephen. We wish you the best of luck with this and, and your launch. Thank you. I've been speaking with Stephen Stokels. He's the CEO and founder of Wumi. I'm Bambi Francisco.